All right, man, Torture Talk, 6 o'clock show. So on the 12 o'clock show, I actually, uh, the intro was different. Well, not different, but it was supposed to be for this episode. So I didn't feel like cutting it and pasting. So this is the episode where Dr. Umar talks about Jay-Z and how he feels about people trying to blame him, uh, implement him, and want him to get arrested. So. Uh, yeah, so you could say that this, this day, well, not all of it, but most of it was about Jay. All right, so we're going to get into that, man. Let me get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them, man. Don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, you can. Links on the screen. Cash at PayPal is in the description. All that good stuff. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. A million by Monday morning. Wake up. See a million subscribers. All that good stuff. So look, let me know where you're from. So we're going to get right into this clip. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we be back to discuss. I don't hope y'all like my acorn hat. You know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's what I was told. I was told that it looks like an acorn. <laughs> so Whatever. All right, so let's get to it. Six o'clock show. You know what it is. Acorn man today. Acorn man. Let's go. <laughs> Speaking of Jay, with everything that's going on with Diddy, how you feel about the people that are saying that he's next? I don't see any evidence of it. What I see are jealous YouTubian struggle streamers who glory in the downfall of any black person who is more successful than Yo, that is a hundred percent facts. I don't know. I don't know if they, if they're unsuccessful because there are some that are very successful. That is can't wait to this dude falls. You know what I'm saying? But I'm with Umar. I haven't seen no evidence of Jay-Z doing nothing crazy. I really haven't. I don't know where that came from. I haven't. I mean, all this stuff is speculative with him but i haven't seen anything that would suggest that he was i know some people try to <laughs> some like people try to point out the video on to the next one it's like oh look it's all these satanic subliminal messages in the video i mean like so <laughs> like that still doesn't prove anything you know what i'm saying like it's like look at this look at this look what he's doing he's worshiping the devil like y'all worship the devil Y'all, all y'all, all y'all people out here talking about Jay Z don't worship the devil. You cool with you cool with all this stuff going on? All these rappers talk about killing people, shooting people. You even sing along with it. You cool with the devil? You chill with Satan? Some of y'all even sit on Satan's lap and eat a donut. Like get the fuck out of here with the goofy shit. Like y'all been chilling with Satan. That's your homie. Y'all y'all do a special handshake when you see the nigga. Cut it the fuck out. They are. I haven't seen any concrete evidence to link Sean Carter to this. I've seen very little concrete evidence to link Mary J. Blige to this. I've seen very little concrete evidence that people are suggesting on the devil's platform, YouTube, that all these other black people are going to be taken down as well. Don't get me wrong, Art, I can't read the future. Maybe they will be. But I have not seen anything that, in my opinion, would warrant a federal government takedown. We have to stop celebrating the fall of black people when we don't do the same thing with non-blacks. Now, don't get that is a hundred percent facts. Oh my God, bro, that's a hundred percent facts. It seems like everybody's celebrating. The fall of black men, bro. Look at look at all the black men that have been selected to be taken down. Look at this. High profile. All of them. OJ, R. Kelly, uh, 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 Bill, Bill Cosby, P. Diddy. These dudes are were were icons at one point and they getting them out of here saying jay-z's next michael jackson 
The list goes on, man. Get me wrong. Like I said, if Puffy engaged in forcible sex with women, if Puffy forced these women to do things they didn't want to do, if he trafficked women against their will, yes, he should be convicted. Yes, he should go to jail, but not until a preponderance of the evidence have shown such. I believe in due process, Art, and I believe in due process, not because the United States Constitution guarantees it, because according to the United States Constitution, I'm three fifths of a man. I believe in due process because as African people, we believe that nobody should be convicted without first having an opportunity to defend their honor. That is an African principle of law and justice. So whether it's Puffy, whether it's Sean Carter, whether it's Mary J. Bly, some people saying even Puffy's son may be getting pulled into this. I think that a lot of people, and that speaks back to the point that he was making earlier, I think a lot of people, they want to be the first person to discover something so they can get a viral moment so they can say, yeah, he's an, he or she is an investigative journalist because they were the one with the story first. They just got the scoop. It was him or her. That's what they want. But most of them don't even do investigative journalism. Most of them, what they do is they go on somebody's page, like a news outlet, and they look. At the story. I'm just giving y'all the game. All of us do it. You know what I'm saying? All of us take ideas from other people. And we put it in this. Now me, I'm a commentary. I'll give you how I feel. You know what I'm saying? About certain things. You know what I'm saying? If I call bullshit, I call bullshit. I ain't going to just go along with something because it sound good. Like, nah. And some of the, some of the videos that I cover and I watch, a lot of them, I go to do the research myself and they be wrong. I have to come back and explain. <laughs> hey, but most of his opinionated and that's how it should be. Okay. If he's guilty, he should be held accountable, but I will not convict any African until they have first had an opportunity to defend their honor. Look at me, Art. Look at all the people who accuse me of stealing the school money, not building a school, this and that. If you're going to let people crucify others in a court of public opinion, I'd be canceled and crucified just because of the volume of allegations alone. Just because everybody is saying something doesn't make it true. I always go back to a quote from my ancestor, Frederick Douglass, who is, was cousin to my four times great grandfather, Stephen Henry Bailey. Frederick Douglass said, quote, a man and God are a majority against the world. He also said, I will unite with anyone to do good and I will unite with no one to do wrong. And Booker T. Washington, who was a protege of Frederick Douglass, he said, no man can make me hate, no man can pull me down so low as to make me hate him. Frederick Douglass said, you can't pull another person down without going down yourself. And so for me, that's a fact. That's a straight fact. You cannot pull somebody down without going down yourself. And that's why it speaks to Jazz, a uh, Jaguar, right? You can't be talking all this stuff about Diddy and, and, uh, and your boy, uh, your boy Jay, when you were a part of it, you can't do it. Not saying you can't say nothing. But you got to understand the scrutiny is going to come your way, too, because people are going to start to question, well, what were you doing there? That's what they're going to say. Me, I believe in justice. I do not believe in trying to belittle a person so much that you disgrace their very existence. Because as I said before, for all the people who say Puffy need to suffer because of what he did to Cassie, and I don't condone it, you have men in your family who have done worse to women and you ain't say shit. You know men. That's a fact. Oh my God. That's a hundred percent fact. I said that on one of the podcasts and a lot of y'all came at me crazy. That's a fact. A lot of y'all won't stand up for your family members who getting they beat, they head beat in.
But y'all, it's like it's like niggas, right? What cracks me up with niggas is niggas will say happy birthday to niggas they don't even know. The future, happy birthday, future, happy birthday, happy birthday, Beyonce, happy birthday to people they don't even know, but never will say that to their family members. It's the same thing when you see verbal, physical, financial, any type of abuse with your family and you don't say nothing, but you going online talking about Cassie and how she's being done dirty and how you got cousins and aunts and even some uncles that's going through something right now and y'all ain't saying nothing about it, nothing. Y'all hypocrites ain't saying nothing. I know you watching right now, you watching right now, I know that you have family members that's being, uh, uh, doing all types of things being happened to them and you ain't saying nothing about it. You ain't saying nothing, but you getting on these platforms, talking about how you hate Diddy because he did something to Cassie. But your own family members, you're watching it happen to them and you ain't saying nothing about it. Like, come on, man. Who have done worse to women and you didn't say nothing. So why is it you're so adamant about Puffy being convicted, but you did nothing to convict the men who you personally know in your own life who have beaten on this women, on their women? Art, I cannot support selective morality. Selective morality for black people is complete hypocrisy, and I will not support it. I agree. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. hundred percent. It is, it is selective morality. A lot of y'all out here, y'all follow what's trending. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to basically prove your point about something, but you, but you watch it happen to people close to you and you don't say nothing about it or things happen and y'all don't even go to the authorities about it because it's so-called snitching. You don't want to do that. You watch your, you, you watch your, your, your aunt, Get hit with a get hit with a, a, a steel toe tin boot to the head and and, and don't want to say nothing about it. I'm on my business. I'm on my business. The first thing you do as soon as you see something, you jump right on YouTube or most of y'all pull y'all phone out and start recording and then try to upload it. Oh yeah, it's gonna go viral. Watch this. I'm telling you right now. Watch it go viral. And it's like you don't want to even support your family. Watch things happen to your family members. And, and for years, I was a kid. I couldn't really do anything. But for years, I watched some of my family members get decimated by, by certain people. Men and women. See, one time I seen one of my, my aunts. She threw grits on the boyfriend's face when he was asleep. But there's a reason for that because he was very abusive. So she got him back. But I didn't know I was a kid. I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, do anything about it. I mean, it wouldn't be happening now. I'm just saying, like, but as far as Jay-Z go, I understand where you're coming from. I just don't see how people want to involve Jay in everything. It's like, and he's right about that. It's like y'all want to see the demise of black men. And y'all don't even realize it. Y'all don't even realize it. That's just the bottom line, you do. You could say these people are bad, but I mean, let's be clear here. It's a lot of bad people. And how come it's always got to be the headline got to be a black man? I mean, yeah, people could say, well, there's some white guys too, but they don't stay in the line like that long. And to truth be told, even though you're talking about Harvey Weinstein and you're talking about uh, 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 Jeffrey Epstein, they look kind of like, I mean, honest with y'all, they, they say things about them, but a lot of times people don't feel like they're monsters, though. They don't feel like Jeffrey Epstein was a monster. They don't. But, to, but they, they hit it. They pushed the, the nail in. When it comes to black men, they push it in. You know what I'm saying? So 
I agree with Dr. Umar on this. I haven't seen no evidence of Jay doing anything. So I don't understand where all this is coming from. I haven't seen it. And, and if, it comes out, if it comes out, I'll cover it. Right now, I haven't seen that. So, all right, man. Y'all enjoy your rest of your day. Six o'clock show's over. See y'all in the morning. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>